just it's different. What it's called. What happened yeah. in history between sort of like the 10th century and today? So you see, from the very first century Al Hijra, from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu itself, yeah. there were different kirats of the Quran. Now yeah. the Quran is still one in yeah. the sense that that is the key source, but it's got different kirats, which is basically just a different modes of recitation, because there are so many different dialects at that time. Yeah, so. So the angel Jibreel basically uh, was asked by the Prophet ﷺ himself as to give him more dialects or more modes of recitation that it'll be easy for the other tribes to recite him. Yeah. So it's still, it's still the source is still the same. So it's still from Allah yeah. through the angel Jibreel yeah. from but and to the Prophet ﷺ. Yeah, does seem to be that, uh, is it Uthman? Yeah, Uthman. Uthman. Yeah. He standardized, he standardized the Quraysh yeah. dialect, yeah. yeah. So, because obviously you only wanted one Quran. Yeah. According to the scholar, it didn't actually work. So there was... No, no, no. It it's not that it didn't work. What do you mean it didn't work? Because afterwards, afterwards, apparently, there was what? sort of up to uh, like 25 Qurans or something. And then... Couple, there's still, there's couple, one Quran, couple, different Qirats, different recitations later, of that. Yeah, but if that's the case, what would each time they go to such lengths to bring in these Qurans to get rid of them. I think the first time... But they were already there from the beginning, I told you. The different Qirats were already there from the time of the Prophet Sallallahu himself. In fact, he was the one who asked Jibril, the angel, to bring him more... But again, time flows on. And when the angel Gabriel comes with your Quran, yeah. okay, but time moves on. So there's lots of different Qurans. And they get by no, I think you got it all mixed up now. The burning, the burning of the, wasn't of the Quran. It was the personal copies of the people. So, for example, if they, they might have written the Quran themselves, or they might have heard the Hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu and written it in the same place. So now many things were kind of mixed into their own personal okay, so, copies. So, yeah, so when that new Quran, when that new Quran from was created. So Sorry, what do you mean new Quran? I don't understand. Well, Can you if, qualify if that? There's, if there's other Qurans that aren't, that they've heard, that they've written down, that isn't quite... No, no, it's not other Qurans. So, let, let me ask you this. There is, for example, if you witnessed a particular event, and your yeah. friend witnessed that particular event, yeah. the way both of you would narrate it would be different, right? Yeah, it's even different. though it's the same, even though it's the same event. Yeah, but if the Quran is quite perfectly preserved, that should happen, surely. No, the Quran is preserved, Mansur. No, 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 it's perfectly preserved, it should happen, surely. So, Brother Mansur, start from. He has more information on this, that's why I called him. So, what you don't understand is the difference between the Quran itself and the Qirats of the Quran. So the Qirat were also authenticated by the Prophet himself. So maybe Mansur will be able to share. So he's, he's, he's saying, why were there like so many Qurans in the time afterwards, after the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? And not give the ones from. So basically, once once Uthman's got his uh, uh, Quran out there. Say again. Once once, once Uthman's got the Quran out there, which he's happy with. Okay, I'm assuming whoever. whoever all all whoever, the different kiras he was happy with. Whoever whoever put this new one this one together that they they was happy with. It seems like. So the so the prophet. Like, it seems like a few years later. No no no. A lot more what's around. what's your name? Dave. 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 The prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam himself taught the companions the different modes of recitation. So it wasn't something new invented later on. Okay, so basically, uh, when, when Muhammad said this, it's come down seven times, so when you got different people reciting something slightly like different, and uh, Muhammad said it's come down seven times. Not seven times, and seven different modes. So seven, seven different kirats, yeah. yeah. So that is, so how do you What's wrong with that? One is the correct one? All of them are correct. That's that's very actually, actually, that's actually let's... Let's start with you from your understanding. He'll be able to explain. Mansur will be able to explain to you. Just inform us, I mean, what do you understand by the process that the Quran was given to the Prophet and how he came to us? Just briefly explain what you know. No, no, I'm just, uh, I don't know much about the Quran, as I've already mentioned to, well, I don't know where he's gone now. No, from yeah. what you know, and then we can then address any concerns that you may have. Yeah, I was watching a, a Muslim scholar uh, talking about... He's uh, talking about Yasser Khan. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, so... Um, who did you who did you watch? No, well, one was uh, Yasser Qadi and the other one was. Um, let's let's start with um, Yasser Qadi. Yeah, um, right. What did you watch? Anyway. Oh, no, no, it's not. Anyway, it's important no, no, because no, I think. No, no, it, no. 
I need to... Sorry, you, not sorry Dave, sorry Dave, questions. sorry. I've got questions. Dave, yeah. I would like to really get to understand what you know about the subject. Well, I don't know a lot, and so that's what I'm asking. From what you know, remember you mentioned you've seen or you heard something about Dr. Yasir Qadi, right? So, what do you re recollect from what you know from Yasir Qadi? What right, does he say? I say the Yasir Sadi or Yasir Qadi, yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, as just basic looking, i.e. watching his discussion on YouTube, sure. how, how he was discussing it was he didn't seem to believe that oral um, communication was reliable. Where did he okay. state that so, in his video? So, Stop okay, there, one point at a time. Just like we've been, no, 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 no. No, no, no. no, no, no. Do you recollect a is phrase or a statement? Is that no. true though? Sorry, sorry. If you have watched a video of a professor or a, or a scholar explaining yeah. something, yeah. of course, it means that there's something that you have understood from it, yeah. which gives you the indication that, yes, um, this is what he's saying. What do you recollect that okay. he said okay. that gives you the indication that, just be patient, that gives you the indication that the oral transmission is not reliable? Would you like to share? Okay. Because I've watched that interview too. Yeah. So, so, well, so at least both of us have seen the same interview. Well, so go ahead, well, what way, do you recollect? Well, the way I look upon it, when I was a kid in school, just basic being a kid in school, so a little child. So was I, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. no different between so, you and so me here. We, they, the teacher would play a game, and what she'd do is she'd write on a piece of paper something, she'd tell a little child something, and that child would tell the next person. And by the time it goes around to just maybe 20 kids in a class, by the time we got to the end, the message was totally obliterated. The Chinese whispers, right? And so what she'd do is she'd show us yeah. what was she originally said. So it'd be different. Sure. Okay. Is this what Yasir now, Qadi was talking about? So I know you guys are scholars. Or no, we're not scholars. Very learned. We are not scholars. And missionaries so or whatever. But would you mind coming back to Yasir no. Qadi? It's very important because everyone wants to learn now. Because you seem to have some issues and concerns. Yeah. What of the statement so, of Yasir Qadi so, indicated to you yeah. that the oral transmission of the Quran is not reliable as you stated? Because of people like Chinese whispers, as it was. Did he explain yeah. that way? No, he didn't say Chinese whispers. So what did he explain? I'm not very, I'm not bright enough, to be honest, to gather all the details, because I've already, which I've already said, okay? So I'm not saying anything, that I, don't, I can't say about things I don't know. But the questions I have for you, generally... Stop, stop, please. Dave, Dave, sorry. Wait, 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 I apologize for interjection and interruption. I'm not going to move away from Yasir Qadi as his starting point. Well, and then, well, and then, wait. allow me to make my listen, point. Listen, no, no, no. See, please, allow me to make my point. No, we'll With all due respect, no, no, no. you have stated that you have watched Yasir Qadi. Now, I could ask you for clarification. Was this the interview that he had another or one, out one of his... One second. No, 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 out no, of his, excuse me, Dave, excuse me, Dave, Dave, it is not fair that you just throw a name on the table and you assume that everyone knows what they're talking about. Listen, so, so is, do you have any concern from Yasir Qadi or are you going I to move on to an next caller? What is your no, main no. objection with Yasir Qadi's statement? No, 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 I've been, I've, from what I've been told, that the, by who? By the Quran, it's yes. like, okay. let, let me deal with down, it. It's come down to one. So, with all respect, I was talking to someone completely different than yourself and other people. Why don't you now speak okay. to us now and we'll see what so, we understand? So, basically, my, my primary concerns is, as I understand it, from listening, yeah. okay, and I'm not a scholar. So, okay? remember, so, recollect as, what you have listened. Oh, let me finish. Yeah. You, I'll let you talk a lot, okay? Oh, okay. Um. As I understand it, okay. The, when um, Mohammed said seven times, seven ways of this uh, this presentation being done. So my point is, is, is that supposed to make it more simpler? Yeah. How is seven times more simple than just the one? Because for them, sure. that, uh, um, without explaining anything, let's go thing. to the bottom of the subject. Okay. So then, carry then, on. But what, what, what worries me as well is when. He went on to, um, I know Uthman, it might have been the third caliph, is it? Did yeah, you see the third caliph? When he burnt Qurans, what? non that, that is, that is, I mean, surely, I don't know if you find it, but when I've, I've seen people 
get yelled at and protested at burning Qurans. The, 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 uh, different reasons we both don't. Let, let's not even. No, my point is the, the, the Quran's One is being malicious, burnt. you know that. The Quran's being burnt. Yeah, but this guy, for me, what this guy is doing, this caliph, it sounds malicious to me. Why? Because why would you burn Qurans? Unless you want to get rid of them. But you said you have researched it, so why did he burn I, the Quran? Excuse me. I haven't researched. I didn't say I've read, so you're putting things in my mouth. No, well, but you, you said he burned the Quran, so you must have read something, right? Well. Or you heard it from someone? Well. Which know, one is it? You know. Where I've heard it from. I was just okay. seen it on so YouTube. Mostly, yeah. Okay, so that so that happens. Okay. okay, to put the Quran smaller again, then there's more. There's actually more. Uh, there's, there's too many already. That's fine. In, in history, so then it gets codified into seven. So uh, I mean, I think so he's got the board. It goes, sorry, it goes to seven, no, that's fine. To 14, let, let him finish, and then we'll and deal with it. That's fine. We'll answer so your question. Apparently, apparently, according to his scholar, it goes up to possibly fifty. At one point, around the 10th century. Which which point? So, <laughs> Hashim. So, let him speak so, and and see. Listen, just like, where is the mission? I just want to know why. He speak so, to me, right? So, well, because the brother you, invited me. Yeah, yeah. Um, so speak well, to me, Dave. He knows more about yeah. it, so I will. It's I will not right now. Uh, so, so, so basically, yeah. So basically, what I want to know is, it seems like there's a history uh, from what I've, I've looked at, like yeah. on YouTube. So, if if unless he's lying. That is that is a possibility because I don't know the chap in, per in personally. But the way he was talking, it goes from uh, lots of different Qurans suddenly to being qualified into only a couple, into a few. Then it seems to expand again, and people seem to be quite, people seem to apparently are quite happy with the expansion of Qurans. And then uh, it seems to be uh, put down to like 14, so uh, or 10, to, and then 14. So. I'm just wondering what's happening. How how does this happen? Sure. And why? Why does? Would you like to know the answer? Well, that's what I'm asking. Very good. So now let's go back to Yasir Qadi because you've watched his. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you interrupting no, no, no. what I'm speaking? Because I'm, I'm Excuse me, Dave. Question. Dave. I'm answering you, but Dave. You have to give okay. him the chance. Yeah. Try to. Yeah behave in a civilized way so i tried to listen to you when i interrupted you and i apologize for interrupting in the beginning so i let you speak yeah. you've made your question yeah. and i've listened to it okay right in my head i've made points okay now you started by saying you also listened to a scholar and yeah. you've named that scholar dr yasir qadi and there's another um, one called uh, yes um Said I, said I something, I don't remember his name, but go on, yeah. It's no problem, two, two, you can remember, you can remember this thing. Yeah. I don't know who, who you're talking to, uh, right. talking about, but that's fine. Yeah. So you've watched Dr. Yasir Qadi. Um, so, so what? I've, seen, I've seen a couple, two, two different scholars. Uh, one, Would you like one, to let so, me speak? Yeah, um, I'm just saying, no, I just want to clarify. No. Two scholars, I've seen two scholars sure. talking yes. about the Qurans. Yeah. Okay, so obviously they're, Fine. They're, Good. they're experts in the Quran apparently uh, uh, so, wait, stop there stop there stop so stop stop, stop. Dave, stop there Yasir Qadi what is his expertise Dr. Uh, Yasir Qadi I'm, I'm, I'm assuming he's a uh, why you assume in, in why you assume you should once you know someone is a scholar for example there was a guy that used to well, come here one moment well, why are you sorry, interrupting when i'm speaking know, excuse me, me question, so I'm just, I'm just okay so go ahead I saw yes what is his specialty in no i'm asking you a simple question i'm asking you a simple question i'm asking you a very simple question so. very simple question yeah. but his highest level of education where is it from what university uh brother brother that's fine yeah. dr james white what is his specialty, do you know? Yeah, well, he's an apologist, so particularly. Apologist, fine. Yeah, yeah. What is his specialty of Dr. Yasir Qadi? I don't know. Well, he, apparently he did... Don't say apparently. Either you know or you don't. Well, apparently he went to Saudi Arabia. No, no, excuse me. Apparently, there is no such thing as apparently. If no, someone is a scholar, are you, are you to allow me to finish my point. Is? Excuse me. No, are you saying you don't know who he is? And he no, no, it's not me that I don't know. I'm asking you. Well, no, no, so, it's important because you're saying... But I know who he is. I know what his specialty right. is. Dave, it will be easier if Dave, said I don't know. So, so here, is, here is the clarification that's needed. Yeah. When you put forward Yasir Qadi as a specialist in the Quran, so I'm going to ask you once again, once more, to make it clear, right? Hear my question. When people become a scholar and they specialize, they specialize in a very specialized subject. Yeah. For example, once you do your PhD, this is your specialization. And then you can further specialize within the field of what you've done in your thesis, right? You can further specialize. Yeah. 
So do you know what was the thesis of his PhD on what specialty, number one? Secondly, what is his specialty that he understands to be his specialty? Okay. You have the option to say no. I don't know. What I want to know is... I'm asking you a very simple oh, question. No, no, no. The simple, I want the simple answer. Yeah, to, no, I'm right? asking you the question. Are they right? Excuse me, no. Wrong? There is no running no, no, away no, no, from no. this discussion. No, no, no. There isn't. Here, are they right? Here, or are they wrong? Excuse me, That's Dave. That's what I need to know. Dave, so you need to if you are me. interested in a polemical discussion, you've come to the wrong listen, platform. Listen. If you are sincere uh, and you're willing to learn and engage in a discussion so in an academic not, manner, and you sincerely want to know about the subject, yeah. then you need to clarify this question. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you no, know no, the questions. specialty no, of Dr. Questions. Yasser Qadi? You are deflecting the, what I'm asking. I'm asking simple okay. questions. The audience who are listening, do you understand my question? I'm asking... Good. I'm asking, I'm asking, so the question I'm asking is, if I bring... No, if no, I bring, no, no, no. I'm asking questions about your history, chronic history. I'm trying to answer them for you. No, you're not. You're talking about Yasser Qadi. You're talking about all this, you're who brought him up? Who brought him up? You're talking about everything. Who brought him up? Listen, I will listen, about, but can you answer? Everything. Did you bring him up? You are talking about everything other than what I've asked. But I'm no, trying no, no, to no, answer. No, no. no, you're deflecting. How am you're I deflecting? deflecting. Enlighten me, how am I deflecting? I've asked the questions, yeah. you're deflecting. Okay, can I answer now? Okay, no, you're ah. deflecting. It appears he doesn't know the qualification, okay. maybe you can just tell him. <laughs> you are deflecting, I've asked simple questions no, no, no. about... Never give them the answers. <laughs> Let them do some homework. Okay. I've asked you questions for you to answer those. Right, let me now answer you, so okay? So now, I want the, the answers Let me answer questions. you, no, let me answer you, let me answer you. In support of your claim, you brought a scholar. No, scholars, two you? scholars, different scholars. When you say two scholars, yeah. um, you don't remember so the answers. name, you don't remember the name of the other scholar, but what is his specialty? You don't know or do you know? I don't know, no. Fine. So, when you bring a support for assertion or a statement that you make for yeah. a claim and you don't even know wh whether they're qualified or not on that subject we can just rest assured leave them aside for the time being until you can demonstrate like in the court of law when you bring a witness okay, okay. Hey, let me finish okay, I have not finished wait, yet wait, wait, wait. No, no, I have not finished when you again. bring a witness in a court of law I have not finished when you bring a witness in a court of law and the judge wants to know is the witness are you why are you interrupting why are you interrupting I am answering no you're not so listen so in a court of law when and witness is invited to provide Excuse me, corner, Dave, you ask questions, Dave, and if someone reflects, if Dave, someone wants a simple answer, the whole world is watching you. I don't care. You don't Listen, care? Don't the whole world is going to judge you by what you are saying and what you are doing and how you're behaving. Judge you by you not answering better answers but I am like putting things so straight. So let me finish. Right. No, no, so, wait, wait, wait. Just answer the question. I am. You don't you understand? I'm answering. You're not, you're so be here patiently. So here is how I answer. Listen, so, allow me to finish. Right. So when you, when you, brother, brother, please, thank you very much. I don't need any support. When you bring a support for your statement, an evidential support in a court of law, let me finish. If you keep on interrupting, then you better walk away because you're not willing to have a dialogue in knowledge and sincerity. Because I can, if you are, then let me finish then. Okay. I take two minutes to make my point. Okay. What time if you want. When we want to support our statement, like in a court of law, when somebody says, I know this okay. is what happened, uh, two minutes, and you can't even, subhanallah, oh Listen. two minutes, Listen. two minutes. So when the court summons a professional, an expert for corroborating a statement or something with their professional judgment, they can't just bring Tom Dick and Harry in the street to provide, say, I'm a cardiac surgeon, and I know when this guy has operated, uh, being operated on his heart, that's where the malfunction was or the error of judgment was of that surgeon who operated it. So I can tell you as a second opinion or an expert, the operation was done incorrectly. Let me finish, not two minutes yet. Well, what's wrong with you? Now, so, thank you. So don't just be agitated then. So when you bring support for your claims, an expert, we need to first understand is this person an expert or not? You can't just bring any person who supposedly, you know, is well known. I can bring, for example, Tony Blair, he's well known worldwide as an expert in the Quranic 
sciences. But that is not going to be acceptable. Why? His fame doesn't count. What counts is his professional knowledge and expertise. So, you started by claiming that you have a scholar who said oral transmission isn't reliable. Two questions I ask. And I am not going to move away from these two questions unless you answer them. Or you say, I don't know. What is this expertise of Dr. Yasir Qadi in what specialty? Secondly, secondly, where does he say in his interviews or in his lectures that all transmission of the Quran is not reliable as you said? Those of you who are joining us late, go back to the video and rewind and say he made that statement. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay, now still, still, after all this, right? I asked, and I was asking the Muslim about what I saw. This is a simple conversation. I hope you find a simple answer. Okay. So now get Mansour. Is it Mansour? What's your name? What's your name, sir? Carry on. I'm listening. Why am, I, why am I supposed to interrupt? I'm asking what your name is. It's Mansour. So I get Mansour. So I asked him this, the same stuff. And what do I get? I still haven't got an answer. He's spoken for what, 15, 20 minutes. But is he, is he I think he an made answer? a claim and he was trying to clarify he, your no, no, claim wait, wait, was incorrect. Wait, wait. Is he given me an answer to a query I got? Okay, so I don't know much about Islam, I've already said that. Okay, so I'm expecting an answer. And after a lot of talking and a lot of stuff, he still hasn't given me an answer. Where is he in the platform? So why there's like 25, <laughs> at some point, to 50 Qurans this particular chap was talking about in his dialogue on YouTube, and he's a Muslim scholar. So while I'm not an expert and I hold my hands up not to be an expert... It's clearly obvious like, you're not. That's fine. No, you don't have to be an expert. I've got questions from experts that still haven't been answered. Is here. Apart from lots of deflections. Okay. So what is the expert so, in? And where so, did you say what you say? So ultimately, I still haven't... I don't know, you seem to be an expert. Uh, Never claimed to be one. I still haven't got an answer though. So I question. think the discussion will soon end so because, be because, because you're waffling your waffling doesn't benefit anyone. No, I came to give you an opportunity, remember? You're, you're I didn't come and say, you're not I am now talking. I am now talking. I am now talking. Dave, I am talking. So learn how to behave and talk. No, if you don't know how to talk, then perhaps you need to go back to... I was hoping... No, no, I was hoping that you at least understand how we talk to each other. If you don't even know how to talk to people, then first lesson is learn how to talk. Second lesson is, ask if you don't know. Third I've lesson asked. is, third lesson is, ask, asked. ask I sincerely. Asked. I have asked. Right. I was talking sincerely to the person I was already right. talking to. Right. Go ahead. And, and the second per Answer person. Answer the question that I asked. And the second person I Dave, was talking to. Dave, enough waffling. Okay. Now, what is his specialty? No, no, you, Do you know? Excuse me, don't tell me. Do you know? Me. I'm explaining. Do you, you know his specialty? So don't. Do say you I'm know? Waffling. Do me. you know his specialty? You're, you're showing me disrespect. Okay. okay. Those of you who are listening, how many times have I asked this question? What is the specialty of Dr. Okay. Yasir Qadi? And, and did you hear an answer? Everybody watching, everybody watching, he still hasn't answered the question. He still hasn't answered the question so I had about how many crowds. Thank you very much. I don't watch people, you know, who come here for jokes. Sorry. Sorry, people. I don't, I'm not the time to talk about people who are jokers and comedians. I want to know what happened.